good YouTube fight fans all over the world. It's your boy Real Talk Boxing, and I'm back at you again. Lopsided victory for Canelo Alvarez versus Smith. Um, there was really no comparison comparison to the two. Um, Canelo just outclassed him in every way possible. Um, Smith wasn't, you know, seriously hurt in the fight. Uh, he was just technically outclassed and broken down. Um, Smith came in uh, the first round, tried to establish himself, but after that, uh, Canelo started just walking towards him, man. Like, just literally walking towards him like a lumberjack with an axe. And there was no re retaliation by Smith. Smith was just Smith was just allowing him to walk in without the jab, without the stick, wasn't fighting tall. When a five foot eight Canelo can jab a six foot three Smith at will, there's something wrong there. So Smith is not fighting tall. Smith is not using the jab. Smith is not committing to any power shots. So there was literally nothing he could do to Canelo. Canelo's defense was immaculate tonight, y'all. This guy has a, a, a special ability to roll with punches, to move out of the way of punches by like mere inches so that he could be, you know, in, in, in a position to where he could actually come come back with a counter shot. Um... The only thing that I, I have to criticize Canelo Alvarez is for is just one shot at a time. Like, he was just one shot crazy all the way up till the freaking ninth round. The ninth round is when he started actually putting punches together, not just one or two here and there, pot shots here and there. Um, uh, you know, round rounds nine and on, he started throwing three punch combinations, four or five punch combinations. He never neglected the body, which is an A plus for me because y'all know how I harp on fighters for not doing that. But this fight wasn't competitive whatsoever, whatsoever. And it's crazy to me how, <laughs> you know, Canelo's the challenger and Can Canelo walks out second and, and, and Smith is announced first you know, um, before the match. So that was just kind of crazy to me. That just shows you guys how much pull and how much of an A-side Canelo Alvarez is. Um, I mean, no complaints with Canelo other than, you know, the one shot at a time all the way up to the ninth round, and he started really putting it together. Uh, but he is so seasoned, y'all. He is so comfortable in the ring, it ain't even funny. Um, I just don't see, you know, I don't see anybody beating Canelo right now. Um, I know um, Errol Spence was saying that he would move up to 160, and you know Canelo said he would be, you know, willing to move down to 160 so they would meet. But I don't think that's a good idea for Errol. I don't, I don't think Errol can can stand up to uh, Canelo and what he brings to the table. Um, the most you can do with Canelo right now is outwork him because his 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 punch output is very very low per round, and I can see him getting out hustled and outworked. But, you know, you still got to deal with him breaking you down to the body. Um, good fight. Uh, 12 rounds. Um, wasn't the most exciting fight I've ever seen. But nevertheless, Canelo Alvarez shows why he's the top dog tonight. And um, he got the win and he got the, the, the WBA, you know, in the ring magazine. And now what's next for Canelo? I don't know. I really don't know. I hope it's somebody that's durable. I hope it's somebody who's not going to be afraid. I hope it's somebody who will stand their ground and be willing to fight Canelo Alvarez, not like Smith did tonight. Smith was game. Smith was, you know, very durable, but he just, I don't, he didn't show up to win. You know, after, after like three rounds, that was it for him. But that's just my take on it, guys. What do you think about this fight? Leave your comment below and let me know what the deal is, man. As always, respect all, fear none. God bless you. The next time Real Talk Boxing, we gone.